Hey, what's up, guys? It's uh, Good Idea Gaming here, and I'm just going to spend just a couple of minutes talking about my opinion on the Diablo 3 expansion information that was released the other day by Blizzard, and uh, pretty much what I think about it. So overall, I think that the uh, the news is crazy. Um, I think the new trailer is crazy, um, uh, crazy expensive too. Holy crap, that was ridiculous. Um, and I think, uh, you know, all the information about the expansion, I think it's uh, good stuff, man. Uh, Paragon 2.0, Loot 2.0, the, uh, the new class, level 70, Act 5, new loot runs, mini dungeon systems. Um, all really good stuff, man. All the new loot changes. Um, all stuff that I'm really looking forward to. And I think a lot of people are going to have a lot of fun with that kind of stuff. Um, so overall, I think it's looking pretty good. Um, I think that uh, hopefully we'll see some more stuff um, being released uh, as time goes on. Uh, you know, we'll see a lot of stuff at BlizzCon. They'll probably have a release date then. Uh, maybe some more uh, actual gameplay teasers. Um, so overall, it looks really, really good. Um, and I'm definitely most excited about, uh, you know, all the new Paragon changes. Uh, the loot changes are, are pretty exciting. Um, and of course, you know, the new the new act and the new class, the new Crusader class, which is kind of like a monk-barbarian hybrid, um, as, as people are pretty much saying. Um, I think it's pretty cool, man. Uh, I don't know. It's... It's definitely got me more excited about the game than I have been in a very, very long time. Um, it's been a very long time since I've actually been excited about playing Diablo, and I think I think the reason is just because the game has just gotten to a point where um, there's really not too much to do, and I know that sounds pretty simple. I know a lot of people are probably like, well, yeah, there's not much to do. But, I mean, if you think about it, um, when you play Diablo, um, you know, there's not really much incentive to do anything, honestly. Um, it doesn't matter what you do. Um, and I'm talking mostly for softcore players. I'm not a hardcore player. I don't really, I don't really do hardcore stuff. So if you guys disagree with me on the hardcore perspective, that's totally fine. But as things stand right now, I mean, when you're Paragon level 100, sure you could go farm legendaries. Um, you could farm at legendaries 12 hours a day. But what are you gonna get? You're gonna get a hundred million gold worth of legendaries, or 200 million gold worth of legendaries, which is worth four dollars. Hooray, four dollars. I mean, that's, you know. Well, playing the game for 12 hours, getting $4 in legendaries, I mean, you know, there's a lot of people who like to make money from Diablo because of the whole real money auction house thing, and I don't think four, four hour, uh, $4 for playing 12 hours is enough incentive for people to really go farming legendaries. Uh, when you're Paragon level 100, there's really nothing that keeps you playing the game, there's really no ladder, there's really nothing that just keeps you really drawn into the game. Um, so once you cap out your character at Paragon level 100, um, you know, you don't have too much incentive to, to keep playing there. So the game just doesn't have too many incentives to play. And I know you could be saying, well, play hardcore, you know, go play hardcore. But, um, you know, you just have to accept that not everybody is a hardcore player. Uh, not everybody enjoys uh, actually playing hardcore and, you know, knowing that if you die, you lose all your progress. Um, it's just it's a completely separate type of game style than softcore. It's... It's, uh, you know, it's like comparing, well, if you get bored of World of Warcraft, go play League of Legends or something like that. It's, it's kind of like saying that. I mean, it's two completely different games with two completely different play styles. And uh, a lot of people who, who play softcore, um, they just, you know, it's hard to get into hardcore and it's hard to enjoy hardcore. Um, I've played it before and I just, I, I don't think I can ever actually enjoy hardcore. Um, so, uh, anyway, the expansion's looking really, really promising. Um, I've got some plans. Uh, you guys know about the Paragon 1000 challenge that I've got planned going. Um, I'll do a video about that later. Um, but anyway, uh, I think that's going to be it. Uh, I'm just walking around here because I just turned my game up to 60 frames per second, which is really crazy. Um, unfortunately, I think I forgot to set uh, XSplit, so you're only going to see it in 25 frames per second. But I'll make sure to do that for the next video so that you see the game in full frames. Um, but anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I uh, appreciate it. And uh, make sure to check out my Twitch, twitch.tv slash goodideagaming. Uh, you guys already probably know about that. Make sure to watch that. Uh, I'll be live pretty much every day. And uh, make sure to follow uh, my Twitch stream and uh, my Twitter, which is twitter.com slash goodideagaming. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel. Have a great day, everyone. And I will see you soon.